uh, the Titan submarine. Um, really want to make a science-driven mission. We're talking all the way back from Saturn. It's a long distance. You know, so why a submarine? Um, you know, it provides much more efficient uh, uh, mobility. Uh, you could put something on a little cable and, and, and dangle it down. But that's going to be a lot of energy to drag that around. Um, this thing's going to give you a lot of uh, uh, space to go. As you'll see, these, uh, these seas are very large. We're going to go thousands of kilometers. We want to go above and below the surface. So a lot of way, different ways on Earth that you can build submarines, a lot of different shapes. Big, thick spheres, saucers, whatnot, cause a lot of drag, be a lot more energy for, to keep us moving, going at a good clip. So in the end, we did pick out the, um, uh, we, and then we picked the long, skinny cylinder, the normal submarine uh, shape that you like to see. So here's the, the, the submarine itself. Here's the science. There's a surface science, so a uh, meteorology st station here and a surface imager. Uh, up high, you want to be able to see kind of as far in land as possible. Uh, a light and a camera for when we're subsurfaced. Uh, physical properties to basically bring in the fluid um, and, and analyze that as we, we move along. Uh, depth sounder, and then of course the side looking sonars, which looking down with the ship is nice, but looking sideways you can get a lot more, um, a lot more uh, visibility there. So. Um, and so that's the science packages. A launch, and probably around 2040, uh, get there about 2047. We want to get there the next uh, uh, summertime. We'd like to have as much light as possible. And it turns out the light would be on, it would be basically sunshine all day long. Um, it looks like uh, 10 minutes after dark around here, but still the sun's up. Um, the Earth would also be right by the sun, so we'd always be able to communicate with the Earth all the time. And that was very nice. The navigation, uh, there's no magnetic field, so there's no compasses, which is kind of a bummer. Um, but uh, so when we're surfacing fairly easy, we always know where the sun is, and the Earth will be able to track us and tell us where we're at. Uh, submerged a little, little tougher. Uh, we kind of borrow from uh, terrestrial sources. There's a Doppler velocimeter, which basically bounces off the, the seafloor and basically tells you how fast you're going and whatnot. We want to keep our position fairly well tracked and roughly within a kilometer. So every eight hours, we're still within a kilometer where we, we, th we think we are.